If you want to know the best thriller movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of the 2010s. Answer me! Answer me, you fucking bastard! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Wind River, 2017. Well, is there anywhere she could be running from? Is there anything close by? Nearest house is three and a half miles from here, southeast. Wind River is a 2017 neo-Western murder mystery film written and directed by Taylor Sheridan and stars Jeremy Renner and Elizabeth Olsen. If you run 6,000 feet in the snow at minus 20 degrees Celsius, your lungs will explode. It's a horrible piece of trivia that opens Wind River, a curious but ultimately human story of brutality and grief, starring an FBI agent and a game tracker, chasing a killer on the loose in the vast winter of Wyoming. They got trailers for the workers, but that's closed for the winter. Okay, so why would a teenage girl be out here? Well, kids come out here on their snow machines and uh, have a big party in the snow. Not barefoot, they don't. Number 9. Who am I? 2014. Who am I? is a 2014 German techno thriller film directed by Baran Bo Odar and stars Tom Schilling, Elias Mbarek, Wotan Wilk Moring, and Hannah Hersprung. In a world in which we all hide behind computer screens and let screens hide everything they hold inside. How easy is it to hack someone's identity? Based off the fragility of modern identities and the high security risks that barely get noticed, the movie tells the story of a German computer whiz, Benjamin, who is invited to join an insurgent group of hackers. Du hackst Menschen? Exakt. Die effektivste aller Hackermethoden, die große Kunst der Täuschung. Social Engineering. Number 8. Nocturnal Animals 2016. You both have the same kind of sadness in your eyes. <laughs> what? You and your mother. Nocturnal Animals is a 2016 neo-noir psychological thriller film written, produced, and directed by Tom Ford and stars Amy Adams, Jake Gyllenhaal, Michael Shannon, Aaron Taylor Johnson, and Army Hammer. Susan Morrow is an elegant gallery owner from Los Angeles and married to a successful businessman. The mess, however, is all inside. When she receives a manuscript of a novel written by her first husband, the gritty content of the novel strikes a chord with her, and she starts to remember the times they had together. You did. I, phew, I thought I was the only one who felt like that. You? Yeah. I was so busy trying to be perfect and... And you don't feel that way? No. That's exactly what makes you so perfect. Number 7. Victoria, 2015. Are you stealing? No. I no, 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 I pay tomorrow. Perhaps tomorrow I don't go to work, it's a friend of mine, will you? Victoria is a 2015 German crime thriller film directed by Sebastian Schipper and stars Laia Costa, Frederick Lau, and Franz Rogowski. It is one of the few feature films shot in a single continuous take and follows Victoria, a runaway party girl, who is asked by three friends to join them as they hit Berlin City. The one-shot production of Victoria is undeniably impressive but it's also an effective thriller in its own right and juggles its tone changes as skillfully as its technical complexities. Sorry. Hey, no, 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 don't, don't wake him up in his dreams. Okay. Maybe he's have a good dream, you know? Yeah. But... So, psh, psh, psh. Number 6. The Handmaiden, 2016. <laughs> The Handmaiden is a 2016 South Korean erotic psychological thriller film directed by Park Chan-wook and stars Kim Min-hee, Kim Tae-ri, Ha Jung-woo, and Cho Jin-wung. Around 1930, in Korea under Japanese rule, a new girl is hired as a handmaiden to a Japanese heiress who lives on a large countryside estate with her uncle. But the maid has a secret. She is recruited by a swindler to help him rob her of her fortune. Everything seems to proceed according to plan, until something unexpected could potentially jeopardize the plan. Heavy! Heavy! <laughs> Number 5. 
Prisoners, 2013. There's no way that someone with the IQ of a 10-year-old could abduct two girls in broad daylight and then somehow make them disappear. Denis Veneuve directed Prisoners, an American thriller and his first English film. The film has an ensemble cast including Hugh Jackman, Jake Gyllenhaal, Maria Bello, Terrence Howard, and Paul Dano. The story focuses on the abduction of two young girls in Pennsylvania and the search for the suspected abductor by the police. But rather than depending on the police, the father of one of the girls prefers to take the complicated job into his own hands. I don't understand what any of this means. They said he ran. They said he tried to get away. I don't understand why he would try to run away. I hear what you're saying. I'm not crossing anybody off my list. Just let me do my job. Number four, The Invisible Guest, 2017. The Invisible Guest is a 2017 Spanish mystery thriller film directed by Oriol Paulo and stars Mario Casas, Barbara Lenny, Anna Wagner, and Jose Coronado. Adrian Dora's life as a successful entrepreneur is about to crumble like a pack of cards when he is found locked in a hotel room next to a dead body. As a result, he now stands accused of murder. Under those circumstances, he meets Virginia Goodman, a veteran lawyer expert in witness preparation and judicial declaration, in order to create a credible defense. Number 3. Gone Girl 2014 So, your wife has no friends here. Is she kind of standoffish? Ivy League? Rubs people the wrong way? She's from New York. Gone Girl is a 2014 psychological thriller film directed by David Fincher and stars Ben Affleck, Rosamund Pike, Neil Patrick Harris, and Tyler Perry. The film reveals the secrets of a modern marriage. On his fifth wedding anniversary, Nick Dunn reports that his beautiful wife Amy has disappeared. Under the pressure from the police and a growing media frenzy, Nick's portrait of a happy union begins to crumble. Soon, he sees the spotlight turned on him when it's suspected that he may not be innocent. Speaking of which, Amy's blood type. God, I don't know. I have to look it up at the house. You don't know if she has friends, you don't know what she does all day, and you don't know your wife's blood type. Sure y'all are married. <laughs> Number two, Shutter Island, 2010. I'm gonna get the proof. I'm gonna go back, and I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. That's it. Shutter Island is a 2010 American psychological thriller film directed by Martin Scorsese and written by Laeta Caligridis, based on Dennis Lehane's 2003 novel of the same name. Leonardo DiCaprio portrays a U.S. Marshal who investigates, with his colleague, a shocking psychiatric ward. Mysterious incidents, twists and turns will keep you on the edge of your seat in every second. It is a remarkable tale of finding nuances inside the walls of a labyrinth of a mental institute hiding a murderer. You. Could you stop that, please? Stop that! Please, stop! Do you know a patient named Andrew Latus? Do you? Oh. No! No! Oh. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Well, graphic. The best and clearest way that I can phrase it to you, Lou, to capture the spirit of what we air, is think of our newscast as a screaming woman running down the street with her throat cut. I understand. El cuerpo desaparecido es el de una mujer, Maika Villaverde, fallecida por infarto. Estaba pendiente de autopsia. ¿Quién firmó la defunción? La doctora Tapia. Ningún otro forense tuvo contacto con el cuerpo. Ya le hemos avisado. That won't be necessary. Your report, very detailed. Just for me, it wasn't very entertaining. It wasn't meant to be. When I write about people, I try to entertain the reader. Venice from wasn't entertained much. Number one, Inception, 2010. I think I found a way home. It's a job for some very, very powerful people. People who I believe can fix my charges permanently. Inception tells the story of Dom Cobb, a professional thief, who steals secrets for a living by using a dream infiltrating technology. When he's given a task to plant an idea into the brain of a CEO, Dom must complete the task and find his way back to the real world before he is sucked into the dream world forever. Regarded as one of the best movies of the 21st century, 
The science fiction film is directed by Christopher Nolan and stars Leonardo DiCaprio, Ellen Page, and Tom Hardy in lead roles. Let me ask you something. Have you done it before? We tried it. Uh, we got the idea in place, but it didn't take. You didn't plant it deep enough? No, it's not just about depth. You, um, you need the simplest version of the idea in order for it to grow naturally in your subject's mind. It's a very subtle art. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.